cacao and they have so many things other than chocolate <laughs> Fantastic. We are a uh, beach by chocolate uh, manufacturer and a cafe, and that means okay. that we make. Um, like if you have guys have time, because I got a lot of time, I'm trying to distract myself from work oh, right now. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I'll, I can okay. talk to you about like what we For do. For sure. Okay, um, take us to the menu. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we we'll just look at the menu. <laughs> You'll be covered. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay, let's go to the chocolate stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, why not? So, okay. Why not? Let's go, thank you for lining us. <laughs> no, thank you for lining okay. me. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, the, the guy who manages it, uh, who owns this cafe, and also mm. they own uh, Artisan Roastery and Artisan Roast and TCDI, and they have barista exams. So. Wow, so you're studying for that? So I'm studying for chocolate exams. <laughs> chocolate exams, <laughs> there's such thing. Yeah, okay, now okay. you know, now you yeah. know life. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. This is like your assignment. Uh, la. Ba yeah, okay. basically, no, I'm just practicing because there's like three components there's writing, there's talking. Okay. And there's actually doing, so yeah. I need oh. to actually do like a chocolate tasting Practical. session. Yeah. Okay. Practical. Uh, <laughs> anyway, okay. Go for so, it. Okay, so I need to call your name. I'm Sarah. Oh yeah, I'm L. L. Yes. Okay, short for Alex. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, great. Thank <laughs> you. Anyway. Huh? Dean. Dean. Good. You guys appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so. Let's go, Sarah. Go for it. <laughs> First of all, chocolate comes from a fruit. Did you know that? Yeah. You did it. Have you ever tried it before? I've actually tried to make my own chocolate. No uh, way. She's like a super chef at home. <laughs> so that's why he knows. Alright, so cacao comes from a fruit and this is what a cacao fruit looks like. They grow oh. on the branches of the young cacao tree. Okay. And that's uh, the inside of the cacao fruit. Okay, I've never seen that, but it that's looks, cool. Yeah, it looks and tastes a little bit like mangosteen, but like a It looks like sour. it. Yeah. yeah. A really sour magazine. Okay. Now, you see the mural on our wall, right? You see that one there is a cacao tree. That's exactly what it looks like. Right. Uh, it grows on the branches, like I said, and it grows up to that height. Now, the farmers have okay. got to prune the top just so that you can reach it. I see. Yeah. And if you see that mural, that is basically our process of how we make chocolate. Uh, the mural is oh, by a local artist called Ali. And oh, man. You know, yeah. Ali? Yeah, that's, that's, that's my that's name. name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Really? Yeah, and that's why he uh, He's well known? Um, yeah, he does well a lot well of known? murals. So, okay. Um, okay I'll I see. He's a friend of Ajim Jitsta, who's oh. got his own. I don't know if you guys know him, but he's also quite I don't know as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the cacao pods, um, well, the, the farmers will actually harvest the cacao pods. And it's important that you uh, you take it within two or three days and then you ferment it straight away. Because if not, then mm. you will degrade the cacao. Um, some pods ripen when it's red in color, some pods will ripen even though it's green on the outside and some will be yellow. Okay. It all depends on the varietal of the cacao. Okay, so how many types are there? There's so many. There's too many. Yeah, okay. some people, you know, like yeah. some people from Africa, yeah. some from India looks different. Yeah, okay. So it's kind of the same thing. Um, you can't have just one uh, varietal of cacao growing on a pod. You have oh. to have several. And cacao needs. Um, how do you say that? Pollinates using little uh, fruit flies called midges. And midges? Midges, yeah. Midges. So these ones, they usually uh, are known around uh, fruit, fruit trees. So that's why the cow kind of needs it to either be surrounded by forest or uh. with like, you know, fruit trees. Different fruits that go with it. 
to um, a Chimbago Coco, so it's a okay. center for what do you call this? A cacao center. <laughs> Basically, lah. Uh, yeah, they, they okay. study cacao and then they also. Like a research center. That's so what? A cacao research center? <laughs> oh my god! Cacao research center. Now, this farm in Batangkali is managed by Orang Asli. Okay. And this guy here, Mr. Simon Ting, is quite a new farmer. Uh, Malaga, yeah, in Malacca. In Malacca. And in Sundarut is also Orang Asli village. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we also have someone in um, Chemopera. And Kapusuto, another Orang Asli village as well. So okay. we know exactly who our growers and farmers are because we don't have any middlemen. Yeah. And we so also. Straight. 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 Yeah. Oh, it's a direct supply chain. Exactly. Okay. So we want to make it more uh, transparent so that the consumers know who you're eating, which farm you're eating from, and what you're eating. Uh, ah. So this is why we are called Honest Chocolate as well. Honest Chocolate. Yeah. So we work. Uh, yeah. So we also pay our farmers up to three times the commodity rate prices because we want to oh. make it more sustainable for them as a ah. farmer and a grower, and we want to reward them when they give us um, premium quality. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> talk to the audience. Oh man, okay, this go. is really embarrassing. So. It needs to be room temperature to be honest. <laughs> Alright, so you have to wait for a while? Yeah, so you can have a while. Or you can just let it melt in your mouth for okay. a while. So, do you want to start with... Uh, which one do you want to start with? Where uh, are you from? When, Pera. Okay, you're from Pera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, really? It might, yeah. Just chop the bun. Pera. Pera. Yeah. So because I'm quite visual, I usually encourage people to look at the taster's flavor wheel over there. But you guys are coffee people, you don't need to do that. You just need to Close your eyes. I'm a tea guy. You're a tea guy, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry guys. We're together with him. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what do you what do you taste? Very sour. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, we call it fruity. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know, not just sour, but can you can you boil it down to whether or not it's uh what kind of sour do you taste? Is it like a really high acidity, like like citrus fruit kind of sour? Or is it more like a mellow stone fruit? It's more mellow. It's more mellow? It's more like a plum. Like a plum? It's like the aftertaste of a plum. Awesome. And you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> For me, this sour. <laughs> yeah, like, maybe like Sorry, a dry guys. fruit? <laughs> okay, what about the sweetness? Let's focus on that. Because you get, you get like two kinds of sweetness. One is like a darker molasses type, and one is like the lighter honey type. So you get the, the darker one? The darker one? Sorry? It's like gula melaka. Gula melaka, exactly. That one comes from the coconut. Do you taste any coconut in there? No? <laughs> I don't taste no coconut in there. Just chocolate, Sarah, just chocolate. <laughs> I'm too bad at all this. I think you need more. <laughs> I like this a lot more than the pera one. Oh really? Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I actually prefer the pera one. You prefer the pera one? The pera one is my favorite. <laughs> I think this goes well with the ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you have a picture. See? So oh, me, OG. OG. You see this guy? <laughs> Thank you for the chocolate, my friend. <laughs> Mr. Thai. Shout out to Mr. Thai. Okay, so 
after after the trees are harvested, and uh, the cacao farmer would need to take in all of this fruit, mm -hmm. and they will put them into fermentation boxes. Now some farmers. Did you prepare these pictures yourself? Uh, no, that was my manager. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that a Saliman mascot? <laughs> <laughs> Commercial break. No, he's too fat. I don't want to put him. And after five to six days, this is the color that it will turn into. This is something that you're more oh. familiar with. It looks like dates. Dates? Oh yeah. yeah. Or almond. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a greenhouse, but it's got air coming in and out. Now the advantage of this is that even though it's rainy season outside, they're still able to dry it out, cover it, then you know, won't really get the air won't get released and it will dry a bit longer as well. This is a sample Ooh. of dry cacao. You see the color, oh, yeah. and, and you see how fat and nice no. the beans are. <laughs> okay. And smell it. Ooh. It smells like dried cacao, mm. right? It smells really nice. Now, what we don't want um, are the defects. But you have a defect sample, yeah, so. so. I mean, you can see these are, these are sort of the defects are like, like terrible. They're not even beans, there's nothing in there. Okay. And it's really terrible in color. And it can be moldy as well, flat, uniform. Yeah. So you can smell it if you dare. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, right? Yep. So you see the <laughs> that difference? is a defect. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So after drying, uh, after hand sorting, we roast it. Now our roaster looks like this. Sorry, that's our roaster. Uh, are you guys familiar with coffee roasting? Yeah. Yeah, that's a coffee roaster. Um, but it's modified to uh, suit uh, the people right. because the guy who founded our Sunyman and Artisan, mm -hmm. He's, um, he's also an engineer. <laughs> he's an engineer? Yeah, so he kind of like tweaked it just so that it will roast uh, chocolate as well. Wow. Now, after roasting to a lighter degree, now the big chocolate manufacturers, again, like I said, they would uh, roast it to a really, really high temperature um, and kind of burn it, essentially, just because they want to mask the taste of the defects. No, we don't do that, right? We roast to a lighter degree. Now, after that, he goes through this machine called the winner work. I don't have a picture of that. But what it does, essentially, is... It, the machine goes in like this, right, like cacao, and then the output would be this. This is cocoa nibs. Have you ever heard of cocoa nibs before? I know you have, but... No, man, I am like, I know nothing about chocolate. Okay, so this Until is... today. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, so you can try some of cocoa nibs. So what we do is that we put the cocoa nibs into a grinder or a melanger, and the melanger is this one. We call this one a baby melanger. Baby right. melanger. Oof. So this is a stone, and at the bottom there is a stone as well. So this oh. is stone on stone. So it's like yeah, it's the friction and it's like grinding. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So this is like an automatic pistol and water. Ah. Yeah. Uh, so when you put the cocoa nibs in there. Uh, you put cocoa nibs in there, and then you add a little bit of sugar, and that becomes chocolate. Oh. Yeah. Does it become like a paste form, or no. how does it become? What's the end? Yeah. Smooth? It's already like a chocolate liquor. We call wow. it chocolate liquor, but if you want an example, it'll be this one here. Yeah. This is what it will look like. Oh. So you need a... Um, Man. Is it like a free flow just all day long? All day, every day. Okay, so try, try this. Do you want to try as well? Yeah. Bitterness, mm -hmm. and at the end, there's like the slight sweetness as well, mm -hmm. and of course, sour. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're going upstairs. 
ask you this actually where the toilet is. Hello, sorry. Okay, this is a room before you enter the toilet. <laughs> I just want to show you. This is a horror film worthy <laughs> toilet. <laughs> but it's such a beautiful place. Yeah, I'm happy I came here and have a chair seated here. And the murals on the wall is actually painted by an artist. I think this is the lounge, uh, air conditioned lounge. Wow, this is a very cozy lounge. And look at the rustic walls. Beautiful place. Oh, feels like home. <laughs> yeah. So nice. I think we have the same cafe. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell it to you guys. So what Sarah told us is that uh, this whole building used to be a massage parlor. So you can actually see the division of the different rooms. <laughs> and that's why they kept it. They kept it that way. And I think they did a very good job at uh, reinventing the whole place. I'm going to show you the very aesthetic shot right now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's, we've been out since daytime. It's night right now. And uh, so do a huge <laughs> shout out. Oh, <laughs> you, you wild. <laughs> so huge shout out to Suniman. Your customer service and all your staff is amazing, friendly. Uh, I just highly recommend anyone who wants a laid back cafe, enjoy chocolate and just a good time. Do go to Suniman. And thank you also for watching the second part. Where we had the what's the place called Super Boring Club. Super boring. Yes. Delicious food service was amazing as well. I don't know something about today. Everyone is so nice to us. <laughs> and everything's just so hospitable. And do remember to hit the like because it helps a lot with growing this channel. And subscribe if you haven't. And hit the bell icon. And uh, we're gonna try to reach 150 subs soon. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.